This is a 1994 Range Rover County LWB. And this is my Range Rover County LWB. And now I'm going to drive it. Well, hey, welcome back to Doug's Cars. Back in my Range Rover, and you might have noticed by this being here that the seats folded forward. I'm going to use this you know, primarily for, for what it, I wanted one for, and what I'm going to use it for is to go get a Christmas tree. It's Dougsmas here on Doug's Cars and Rover Rescue. I mean, that's exactly the kind of thing this vehicle should be used for. It doesn't have a roof rack, but I can slide it in the back. It's not going to get terrible, uh, dirty, or anything like that. Just maybe some pine needles. Um, but I'd rather not have it in like my M4. So. What we need to do is drive over to Lowe's, get some gas on the way, and, and use this vehicle really for what it's meant to be used for. Um, I, uh, I wish I had some Christmas lights on. Actually, last year, uh, about almost exactly a year ago, I made a Christmas video where I talked about buying Tyler Hoover's M3 convertible. I'll link to that. Um, that's kind of what got this all started. I couldn't pick it up till February because he was getting married, the holidays, all those kinds of things. But selling that vehicle basically helped pay for this and all you know the repairs and things that have been done to it ever since then, which is nice. Um, so uh, yeah, take that, take a look at that video if you want. It, it, it's um, it's just me in my kitchen doing a Christmas thing, and then of course I have the subsequent videos of, of the M3s and all uh, driving back from Wichita and all, which was a lot of fun. Uh, meeting Tyler, meeting uh, Watch Dare go and um, meeting David, the car wizard as well, who worked on that car exclusively. Well, let's, uh, let's get belted in here and fire this up, hopefully. I've got the jump box here just in case. But uh, go get some gas and get over to Lowe's. Ooh, it started. Always a good sign. Um, still having the issue with the noise. Uh, I was gonna take it today. Oh, and now the rear wiper's working. Hilarious. I was gonna take it today and have that looked into, but I just haven't had a chance. So instead, I'm gonna go do the other thing I needed to do today and get that tree. Wow, the power steering is so much better than it was when it wasn't power. It's so nice to be able to use the power steering. <laughs> oh. Hey, there's a fire truck on my street. Oh, uh, they stopped up there. All right, good. in this. I haven't put any gas in this since I came back from my off-road experience and uh, had to get some gas on the way back from that because it uses so much gas. I think I got averaged like nine miles to the gallon driving back on that trip and that's just kind of ridiculous. So uh, I'll have to see what's up with that. Uh, part of it I think is the fuel filter. It's running much better now I believe because that fuel filter has been replaced. I was not able to do it myself and when I had it in for some other things to be done, I let them go ahead and do it. It was a screw on both ends, and that just basically all disintegrated. And when they said, when they, um, when they took the filter off, it was absolutely disgusting. That, I believe. I saw Mike's when he took it off of his, or maybe it was Troy's, I forget now. Uh, it was, I mean, it just held it up and like black gunk just dribbled out. It was disgusting. So uh, what they had to do was, you know, basically add some hose on and uh, put in uh, just like a generic flow through filter. Which is good because then I can replace it too. It's up in the upper uh, uh, in the upper part of the passenger rear wheel well, so it's not too bad to get to. Uh, so you gotta have the wheel off, so it's it's easier sometimes to do that when it's already on the lift. But uh, all right, well, almost up here to the 7-Eleven where I will uh, throw in a few bucks of gas so that we don't get stranded without any gas. A little low fuel light's not on, but it hasn't had any in so long that it's time. And hopefully we'll be able to restart here at the gas station. And Lowe's is right on down the road here a little bit. Get our tree stuck in the back here. And, uh, yeah. Cool. All 
All right, I filled up. Heading on to Lowe's. Well, coming up to a traffic light here. For the longest time, I was always anxious about traffic lights in this because I always felt like it was going to stall out. And it idles so much better now uh, at, at the traffic lights. And I, I do believe that has a lot to do with that fuel filter being replaced and getting a steady supply of fuel to the engine has just made it so much better and so much easier. Uh, it's still not going to ever be a fast vehicle. And getting away from the traffic light is a an experience in lumbering, but uh, the fact that it's still idling nicely, you know, granted it's still quite cold and it's cold out, so it's still probably at like a higher idle than it necessarily would be otherwise. But uh, green light on the gas and away up here to another red light. The bane of the existence of the pre fuel filter exchanged 94 Range Rover Classic. Man, I hated sitting the traffic lights in this. Uh, of course, I, I drove it a lot when it was warmer out. It's very cold out today. But when it was warmer out, sitting in traffic lights also was terrible because the air conditioning doesn't work and the driver's side window doesn't roll down. So you basically got no air whatsoever when it's like 89 degrees out and you're just sitting here sweating into the seat, which is not fun. So I need to get this window operating. I'm sure that's something I can do myself. And you maybe even look into the air conditioning at some point. That's down the road. It'd be sweet to have it working. Uh, but uh, I haven't even turned the heat on right now uh, because I'm honestly not certain it works. <laughs> I imagine it does. And the turn signals don't like to stay on, which is very strange. But you gotta get it just right and it'll stay on. Okay, there it's on. But now it won't cancel. But otherwise it would flop back to normal by itself. So basically like the cancel function does work. I think that the in interior part of the switch is actually broken. And I looked at them online and they're pretty darn expensive to replace for, for a newer part. Um, see the signal's still on and I made that turn but I'm making it to the left so that's fine. But uh, yeah, to get a new, even a Proline part, uh, it's, it's a couple hundred dollars I believe. Places like Rovers North. So I might just have to live with that. And just remember to cancel it myself which is less annoying than having to hold it constantly to have it on, uh, which sometimes you do, especially if you're turning right. Yeah, see, that's, yeah, that's not doing anything right there. Not doing anything right there. So let's see, I'm gonna pull up over here by the Christmas trees, and I hope I can go in and get one. Best thing about having one of these is just open the back, slide it right in. Let's go get us a tree. Doug's car's top tip. Always make sure you get a cart for your tree. Razor furs. That's nice and all. I was always kind of partial to Douglas fur. I don't, I'm not, not entirely certain why. Hmm. Those are over here. These are all razor stuff. Maybe they don't have any Douglas furs this year. That would be terrible. What's Doug's cars to do without a Douglas fur? Well, there's only Fraser, so that's what we're getting. Fraser fur. I think I found it. I don't really have a very high ceiling in my living room. This one seems to be pretty nice. And yeah, that'll be my uh, my tree for this year. First tree that I'll be putting in my Range Rover. I wonder if it's ever had any trees in there before. I wonder if there are any pine needles still in there. There will be after today, that's for sure. In she goes. New holiday tradition. The tree in the rover. Well, here's the, the last startup, I hope. Hey, fired right up. Hope y'all can see the tree sticking out the back. I know I can. It smells good in here. Although it's a little cooler now because I left the rear window open. Probably the best that's ever smelled in here, although it Considering it sat outside for so long, it never really smelled bad. It never smelled musty or anything like that. I mean, well, it wasn't wet in here. Oddly enough, this one has never really leaked. 
the sunroof is fine. Not only does the sunroof work and work way more reliably than all the power windows, it doesn't leak. And apparently neither does Mike's, the maroon one. All of the other ones leak from everywhere. Uh, well, Troy's leaks through the floorboards because they don't have any, but I love the fact that I can use this for exactly what I wanted to use it for. And this seems to be working fine. Like just going around town doing a couple things like this, I really, really do want to get that muffler fixed so it's just not so loud because it doesn't need to be as loud as a Chevelle SS 396 because it's not. It's a lumbering old Range Rover. Yes, it has a V8, but I also don't want to wake my neighbors up if I want to leave early in the morning, you know? So, oh, the M4 is pretty noisy. But, hey, it's just a fun ride and I, I'm just so happy that I can drive this without constantly being stressed out and anxious about it, just immediately dying in the middle of traffic. Uh, which it will now probably do because I said that. But uh, I've only got the you know, It's only a mile back to my house, so or less than that. I won't have to carry the tree home. Although it's fairly small, I could probably drag it if I had to. Uh, but y'all would appreciate having a little piece of Doug's mess here in December and close out the year. Although I'm sure I'll have other videos by picking up a, a Christmas tree in the Range Rover. And what a year it's been from picking up the Hoobies Garage M3, getting rid of that, meeting a ton of people, going on all these great excursions, being along um, on a weekend car race, getting another race car for that group. All the Range Rover stuff has just been fantastic. Uh, it's really been a blast. Uh, I've really reconnected with car stuff this year in a way that I hadn't in a long time. And what a great culmination of this vehicle coming out of a field back in May, where it sat for well more than a decade. And now here it is, bringing home a Christmas tree. How cool is that? Uh, with a minimum of effort, really. Minimum of, of expense. And yeah, just really neat. Uh, I'm really happy. And I'm just about at home now. So without further ado, I'm gonna run inside and put up my tree and decorate it a little bit. And I will see y'all later. Thanks again so much for watching Doug's Cars and keep liking and subscribing. I'm, I'm now over a thousand, which was fantastic. That was my goal for initially for the summer, but for the year, and I, I managed to get there. And I thank all of y'all who have signed up and continue to, to watch my content. I, I, I make it because I enjoy it, but I make it because I know every other people uh, enjoy it as well. And just keep liking and sharing and, and subscribing and, and I'll keep doing what I do. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks so much for watching.